I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Superintendent's report on the wall. 
Thank you, Mr. Jacobi. At this time, all students who are here for student recognition, if you could please go to the back or the rear of the auditorium, and we will start lining you up for your presentation here very shortly. <coughs> The district would like to thank Mr. Randy Cantrell. Mr. Cantrell donated 150 binders to the school district. This helps us with organization, helps us with schools, with students, with students who do not have the ability to pay for those binders. So the district thanks Mr. Randy Cantrell for his donation. Thank you very much. soccer team qualified for the WPIL uh, playoffs. The boys won their first round match versus Greensburg Salem, so congratulations to them. Our girls soccer team qualified for the WPIL playoffs also. Emily Rong and Colt Buckley, both members of the Laurel Highlands co-ed cross-country team, were named to the Laurel Highlands uh, Fall Centennial Chevrolet Scholar Athlete Award. Emily Rahm, member of the varsity co-ed cross team, sang the national anthem at Highmark Stadium prior to the girls' AAA championship WPIL soccer match. So congratulations to Emily Rahm there. Continuing, the WPIL tennis participant in the individual WPIL single female championships held at Franklin Regional High School was a freshman from Laura Highlands, Taylor Smith. Congratulations to her. We would also like to congratulate the following co-ed cross-country um, athletes who made the all-county team, Bailey Rom, Taylor Smith, and Cole Buckley. Congratulations to all those student athletes who exemplify balancing their studies and athletic pursuits. Congratulations to those individuals. Recently, Eric McElveny visited Clark Elementary School in 2011 during a combat patrol in Afghanistan. Eric McElveny stepped on an IED, resulting in the amputation of his right leg below the knee. Eric's experiences relate to and motivate people to get back on track um, when they reach their finish lines. Eric had, is an endurance and athletic speaker. He was a dynamic, enthusiastic, and engaging speaker at Clark. And the students enjoyed his message, and we thank him for his service, and we thank him for coming to our schools to speak to our students. Also at Clark, fourth grade is teaching about habitats and different living environments, and set up a display on different animal habitats within the building. So congratulations to Clark Elementary School. The Royal Highlands Middle School. Um, St. Vincent de Paul thanked the middle school for their kindness and generosity of donations for food for the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry. The art of being kind was a great help to feed others in need. Thank you for answering the call to be on the hands and feet of Christ. And that is Dana Propchek, um, the Food Pantry Coordinator. So congratulations to the middle school for giving back to the community that we are all a part of and those who are less fortunate. Hatfield Elementary School for the month of November. Hatfield Elementary staff and students welcome meteorologist Ron Smiley from KDKA on Thursday, November the 10th. Mr. Smiley presented a weather program to the students and they were also able to see his mobile weather lab. The students and staff collected $2,200 for the turkey fund to help families in need. With that donation, PNC Bank matched that donation and a check for $4,400 was given in behalf of Hatfield Elementary School. A special thank you to Ms. Godot for help coordinating this activity, and thank you to PNC Bank and our students at Hatfield Elementary School for that food drive. Thank you very much. And on that note, so far, six turkeys and over 500 food items have been collected for our local food pantry. Thank you to Hatfield Elementary School. make it a point to have or request from the tenured teachers to answer two questions for me. And I, and I have Ms. Peck sent out a survey, not a survey, but these two questions to every teacher. 
first question is, please describe why you became a teacher. And the second question that I have them answer is, please elaborate on the most enjoyable aspect of working for the Lower Holland School District. And this year we have three, or, right, or this month, we have three teachers that are acquiring tenure tonight. Um, the first one is Jessica Cotton, and I'm going to read for you one of those questions from each of our, of our tenure teachers. Question number two for Ms. Codrick was that I, that I found was most moving. Please elaborate on the most enjoyable aspect of working for the Laurel Holland School District. Quote, my most enjoyable aspect of working for the Laurel Holland School District is knowing that our school district truly puts our students, education, and well-being first. I feel we have an excellent administration, school board, and staff that work for our students. Since I have been hired, I've had the pleasure of working in three of the four elementary schools, and at each school, our goal is the same, education for our students. I believe everyone works together to accomplish that, and I'm happy to be part of that team. Congratulations to Ms. Codrick. Later on tonight, she will be um, honored with tenure. Is she here tonight? Ms. Codrick, are you here? If you are, please stand, please be recognized. Our next acquiring tenure teacher is Ms. Tara Pettit. And I also was moved by her second question when elaborating what the most enjoyable aspect of working for the Laurel Holland School District is. Quote, the most enjoyable aspect of working for the Laurel Holland School District would be the enthusiasm of, of our faculty and staff and the willingness of those to reach out and assist novice teachers. As a new teacher, I found all members of the Laurel Holland School District to be encouraging and helpful. These individuals have gone above and beyond to make sure that I am comfortable in my classroom and being the best educator I can be. This is a wonderful school district to work for, and I'm proud to call myself a Laurel Hollins Mustang. Ms. Pegg, are you here tonight? In any case, I would like to welcome her to tenure, and I appreciate her comments also. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, our third teacher is Mr. Richard Colasar, and what moved me the most about him is his definition of please describe why you became a teacher. For me, being a teacher isn't just about teaching the content. When students leave my classroom at the end of the school year, I want them to be not only better math students, but more confident, responsible, hardworking individuals that are prepared to face any challenge that comes their way. And that's what we're really all about in education. It's Mr. Colasar here this evening. Mr. Colasar, please stand and be recognized. Now moving on to Hatfield Elementary, 
Mitchell Elementary, Addison Seuss. Ryan Keffer. And lastly, Isabella Hudson. Okay, now we have Laura Highland Senior High School Student of the Month. Our first one is Emily Rom for AP Biology. Jonathan Lewis, Honors Chemistry. Brandon, Brandon Sutton, Intro to Finance. Wayne Phelan, Accounting One. <laughs> Coleman Hunt, Video Production Slash Technology Education. <laughs> Sadie Teich, Digital Communications Slash Technology Education. <laughs> and last, Avrion Neiman, JRTC third year cadet. Laura Highlands Academic Foundation Board of Directors met on November 11th at the high school. Uh, two new trustees, uh, Mr. and Mr. Minister and Mrs. Wolf, were approved, welcomed, and attended their first meeting. Uh, student Representative Olivia Sue reported that the spring play is Into the Woods and will take place March 9th, 10th, and 11th, 2017. The Academic Foundation members are planning their dinner dance fundraiser for that event. Two mini grants were approved, one for drums for elementary schools and a family reading night at R.W. Clark Elementary School. Uh, there will be books passed out to all first graders uh, December 6th. First grade students will receive their own book, courtesy of the foundation, 
to, so that they may start their own personal library. And um, finally, a reminder that for seniors, scholarship applications are online at the district website. And seniors are encouraged to begin this process so that the, all of these funds are awarded this year. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Strategic plan and board policy. Is the answer? Yes, if I may move down to board policy. I'd like to make a motion to approve an updated, revised grading policy that is Exhibit A. Second. Motion and proper second. Question on the motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The court has 8-0. That concludes my report, Mr. Chiquetti. Thank you, Andrea. Under curriculum committee, uh, chairperson, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Ducati. Under C1A, Pro Student Teachers from University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg, Alexander Gui at the high school, subject to social studies, and is working under supervising teacher Mr. Carl Schusko. I'm working from January 4th, 2017 to April 21st, 2017, August 28th, 2017 to December 15th, 2017. I'd like to put that in the form of a motion at this time. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on a motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The court has 8-0. Motion carried. Under C-2, this is informational. Parent-teacher conferences were held on Monday, November the 14th, 2016. In addition, there will be a makeup conference day on Wednesday, November 23rd, 2016. Exact numbers on conferences shall will be reported at the next board meeting. C-3, informational. American Education Week is being celebrated the week of November 13th to the 19th. This year's theme, Great Public Schools, the Basic Right and Our Responsibility, which will present all Americans with a wonderful opportunity to celebrate public education, honor individuals who are making a difference in ensuring that every child receives a quality education. This will be reflected in special observances each day of the week in all of our schools. And the last, under uh, C4I, staff participated in professional development in service on Tuesday, November the 8th, 2016. Training included Science Matters Kits, Google Tools, CSIU, de-escalation, data, and the new differential evaluation model. C5, informational, the annual, oh, I'm sorry, the fifth annual Career Awareness Week was held in the Laurel Island School District. It was a great success, and the district would like to thank the community partners that supported this event. C6 also was information. There was no school of the Little Island School District on Friday, November the 11th, 2016, in order for students and staff to pay tribute and honor Veterans Day and those who have served our country well. Mr. Ducati, that concludes my report at this time. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Under building and grounds, Mr. Borth. Um, I just have a item that will be on the agenda. Taxation Committee, uh, Treasurer's and Budget Report. Stephanie, it's not here. Mr. Christ, do you have any? Can you read it? Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, item F1, I move that uh, we accept the Treasurer and Budget Report found in the Exhibit B. Motion on the floor. Second. And the second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The court has 8 0. Motion carried. Item F2. I move that we pay uh, for the payment of bills as found in Exhibit C. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. Roll call, please, Kim. Mr. Christ? Yes. Mrs. Ford? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Yeah. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Vaughn? Yes. Mr. Lemon? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Suffolk, Mr. Jaquette. Yes. Seven days. Motion carries. Uh, item F3, there are no GOP bills at this time. Item F4 is an informational report. Um, 
outlining investments for the district found in uh, Exhibit D. Second. Uh, it is just information. Item uh, F5 is also informational. Uh, contains a board summary report for finances under your Exhibit E. Next item is an action item, uh, F6. I move that we accept the federal report as found in Exhibit F. Second. Motion to proper second. Question on the motion. Roll call, please. Mr. Craig? Yes. Mrs. Ford? Yes. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mrs. Black? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Jaquette? Yes. Eight yes. Motion carries. Item F7 is a student activity funds, athletic funds report found in your Exhibit G, and I move for adoption. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Record that as 8 0 7 0 8 0 8 0 Mr. Chiquetti, that concludes our uh, finance budget and taxation report for this evening. Thank you, Mr. Chiquetti. Uh, food Service Committee, Mrs. Ports. FS1A, cafeteria, cafeteria Report, Exhibit H. I've read my report. I'd like to put that in the form of a motion to accept. Second. Motion and a proper second. Is there a question on the motion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. I'm sorry. Roll call, please. Mrs. Ports? Yes. Mr. Kurtz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Jaquette? Yes. Eight yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Security Transportation Committee, Mrs. Bill. Okay. Human Resource Committee, Mrs. Ports. Personnel and Labor Relations, Professional Personnel, P1A, Approve Additional Substitute Teachers, Exhibit I. A is Regular sub Certified Substitute. I can put that in the form of a motion. Second. second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Record that as 8-0. Motion carried. B, Emergency Certified Substitute. Put that in the form of a motion. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Record that as a zero motion carried. P2A, request for retirement, other leaves, and resignation. A, approved request of professional employee A for a good cause leave with benefits from December the 5th to December the 19th. Employee will have exhausted all of the accumulated leave in FMLA and medically in need of additional time. Put that in the form of a motion, please. Second. Motion and a proper second. Is there a question on the motion? I, I just have one. It says dates change on there. Yes. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Record that as 8-0, motion carried. P3 is informational. This is Corey Mahoney. The great teacher at Marshall Elementary School will be returning to her position on the first day of the second semester. P4A, approved permission for the following individuals to be placed as a long-term substitute in the positions indicated. That would be Miss. Tammy Kowalski at Hutchison Elementary School. I'd like to put that in the form of a motion. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. Roll call, please, Kimmy. Mrs. Ports? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mr. Christ? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Jaquette? Yes. Eight yes. Motion carries. Eight zero. Question on P5A. Are these individually? Can we go for all together? 
P5A approved for teachers to have earned tenure to receive and be awarded a professional contract. Tara Hartz, Pay, Jessica Codrick, and Richard Colasar. I'd like to put that in a form of a motion. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. I'd just like to say congratulations and welcome to the Mustangs. You got your tenure now. Keep on doing the fine job that you're doing. Thank you.
that probably is going to be delayed until the first of the year. So we will keep you posted on that and the potential savings that are necessary to make that uh, viable. Thank you. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Great question. Okay, under general matters, uh, permission to set the date and time for the annual reorganization meeting for Monday, December 5th, 2016 at the high school meeting, the high school library, I'm sorry, immediately following, followed by a regular meeting, the work session will begin at 5 o'clock, with the reorganization at 6 o'clock board pictures will follow. Is there a motion on the floor to have that meeting on? Make a motion. Second. Motion and a proper second. Is there a question on the motion? Again, that's in the library on the 5th of December. All those in favor, should be followed by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Record that as 8-0. Motion carried. Um, also, Okay, now career and technical institute report, right? Thank you. The, uh, the uh, CTI board meeting was conducted on October 24th. And at that meeting, a motion was approved to uh, for a section 501 chapter five was presented the inclusion of policy manual and um, our solicitor, Mr. Gary Frankhauser, to write a motion to the president judge. Uh, this action enables our chief of security to have basically all the powers of a policeman uh, to conduct business at the uh, CTI. I, I believe that the structure is similar to, um, the, for example, the hospital police. That is accurate and that is currently pending to be reviewed by the district attorney's office. And we anticipate that being approved next week by the president judge. This Christ uh, gathering of uh, administration staff and board members was held at a local restaurant to honor Dr. Jeffries in, a, in his retirement. Uh, it was uh, certainly a surprise to him, but a fun gathering for all. As reported earlier, a grant uh, was awarded to the CTI, and now the check has been received for uh, a $66,000 uh, grant from the Benedict Foundation for expansion of a uh, National College Preparatory Program. A very successful U.S. Uh, a skills blood drive was held on September 28 and 29. 88 donors, uh, uh, we uh, they collected uh, 74 units of blood from 88 donors, and that will help some 200 uh, area residents. An open house was held on October 18th. Store prizes were awarded and refreshments enjoyed. Students conducted a, a demonstration of their skills in the various shops. And finally, uh, negotiations are being conducted between the teachers' administration and board members and that, uh, that is uh, an in-progress uh, I can report that that has been voted on by the professionals and approved. Oh, good. So it will be on the agenda Monday for the operating committee to consider for approval. Good news. So successful uh, negotiation for that teacher contract has occurred. That concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Anyone else on the vote tech board have anything? School 
in addition to his group group specialist uh, responsibilities. The first early bird negotiating session with the teachers was held a couple weeks ago, and uh, no finalization of offers have been reached at this point. The board considered the first reading of the uh, knowledge zone uh, policy, and similar to the ones that have been adopted by the school district, uh, in, in the event of heroin overdose. And finally, the IU1 board also approved the purchase of environmental science, earth and space science, and ecology textbooks, as well as the safety plans for all 9 through 12 education and campus schools. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you again. Okay. Under other business, first of all, we're going to start off with our addendum. Dr. Wallace, if you would. Thank you, Mr. Chetty. I would like the board to consider a motion for permission to open the high school library from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday for student use. Personnel posting will be in accordance with our collective bargaining agreement and position needs. I'd like to make that motion. Second. second. Motion in a proper second. Is there a question on the motion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Record that as 8-0. Motion carried. The library will be open. This will be a great addition to our current services. Our library has resources in it that are virtually going untapped after school hours. This will provide our high school, our high school students with an opportunity to engage teachers, staff, and equipment and literature and research for their educational needs. Um, something we should be very proud of. Thank you to every board member for that. I would like the board to consider a motion to approve the settlement agreement with Horanic Incorporated for the purpose of settling all outstanding issues related to the HVAC contract executed for the high school renovation according to the details of the handout and the exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion, motion and a proper second. Is there a question on a motion? Take a roll call on this. Mr. Kreis? Yes. Mrs. Ports? Yes. Mrs. DeAndrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? I've been staying on that. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Jaquette? Yes. Eight yeas, one abstention. Karen. I would like the board to approve a motion for permission to purchase and install panic <coughs> buttons in all district buildings per Horizon quote as follows. $1,400 per school in elementary buildings and $1,400 per school in middle school buildings. $2,400 for the high school and administration buildings. Each, one, each building will receive two buttons. Motion and a proper second, and I think this is a great safety device for our students and faculty and all employees. So, I'm glad we're getting that. Motion and a proper second. Is there any other questions? Yeah, I also have a comment. I'd like to personally thank Mrs. Bill for all her time, and she was the one that brought it to our attention. I think it's a great thing, again, keeping our students safe. Thank you, Mrs. Bill. Thank you. Thank you. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Record that is 8-0, motion carried. I'm sorry, 9-0, motion carried. I would like the board to consider a motion for permission to suspend the high school wrestling program due to lack of student participation. Make a motion. Second. Motion in the proper second. Question on the motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Roll call. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Sepik? I have to pass on that because uh, I was one of the, the teachers in 1964 that started the wrestling program, so it's hard for me to not have those programs. So I'll pass it just uh, as a courtesy to the wrestlers. Mr. Kreis? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Mr. Lehman? Well, well, yes, but I think that this is only for this year. I hope we will have enough wrestlers coming up with the program that we can pick it up again next year. So, uh, 
Dr. Wonderful, yes, to this year. Mrs. Black? Yes. Mrs. Deaner? Yes. Mr. Jacquetti? I was one of the original wrestlers on that team 50 years ago. <laughs> 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 I got a vote no. I'm sorry. I got I Mr. Coach, Seppick was my coach I also. Coach, so. Uh, I got it's to say it's hard for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, but maybe we'll get the numbers out so. Motion carried. Just as a side note to the wrestling program, of course, we as a district hate to see any programs leave our district. Uh, wrestling is also near and dear to my heart. I was involved with the program for approximately 15 years. Uh, my son wrestled. Um, I know a lot of the kids that went through the program, and wrestling is a great sport. And as we develop an interest and as we develop the program, we will be or are attempting to bring it back. So, Mr. Suffolk, Mr. Giacchetti, I'll hand you out a singlet and bring you back. So, as soon as I can. Uh, I can't. I can't wait now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. I know I can. Uh, Mrs. Bay, what was that book down? That was seven days, one day, one pass. I'm sorry, do you wish to change your pass, Mr. Slipper? Do you wish to change your pass or just leave it as a pass? Uh, I'd just like to leave it as a pass. Okay. All right. All right. Next, I would like the board to consider a motion for permission to name the basketball press box the John Kazarek Press Box. So I move. Second. Motion in the proper second. I'd just like to say John Cassaric is very deserving of this. And I, and I know that in his heart that he's honored to have this award because he, he worked for countless hours, him and Mr. Jerry Dupay back there when they'd been there, it seemed like forever. But they've always been there for our kids and I respect them to the utmost. And again, I feel honored to be able to do this for Mr. Cassaric. Anyone else have a comment? Thank you. All those in favor, please start by saying yes. 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 Opposed? Record that as 9 0. Motion carried. And we'll have that hopefully by next football season. On there. Next, I would like the board to consider a motion to accept the resignation of Mr. Mark Santor as audiovisual coordinator at the high school and permission to post for a replacement. We'd like to thank Mr. Santor for his service with the district. I make a motion. Second. Motion and a proper second. Question on the motion. What's the effective date of that? Um, I'm assuming immediately. I'm planning on posting tomorrow. Right now we are um, working on Mr. McKee. That is the system. The Horizon will come out and train if we run into gaps, but right now he'll be working with students, training them until we can get someone else in there permanently. Okay. okay. There's a motion and a proper second. Any other comments? All those in favor, you can probably say aye. Aye. Opposed? The court does. 9-0, motion carried. I'd like the board to consider a motion to accept the resignation of Mr. Craig Moon as volunteer boys basketball coach and replace with Mr. Kenny Johnson for request of head coach Mr. Rick Hogg. Make a motion. Motion in a proper second. Question on the motion. Is all can take work in everything? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? All in the favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Record that as 9-0. Motion carried. I'd like the board to consider a motion to approve the purchase of 63 PIAA mandated coaching text at the discounted price of $88.50. All Laura Hollins coaches may then purchase these mandated texts from the district to become PIAA compliant. And we originally discussed sitting on this for a little while. However, in order to get the discounted price, we will have to move at some point in the near future. And I wanted to be prepared to save our coaches and the district as much money as we can. 
Um, I initially thought that maybe this program of coaches being or having to take these classes may go by the wayside, but looking into the issue yesterday and today, this is here to stay. So the district will be made whole for all books purchases purchased. Um, every coach will be required by the state to take this course in order to remain a coach. A retail cost without the discounted price is approximately $150. Not to take this test that maybe you want to make a good me. Yes, they're going to have to purchase the book from us so that we are made whole of one woman purchase. Our coaches just get a discount on buying the books from us as opposed to going to retail and pay about $7. Okay, so it's a savings for them on five. Promise $100. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion in a proper second. <coughs> any more questions on it? Okay, roll call, please, Kim. Mr. Price? Yes. Mr. Seppin? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mrs. Santor? No. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Jaquette? Yes. Seven days, one day. Or eight days, one day. Motion carried, eight, one. Who's here then? Thank you very much, Dr. Wallace. Uh, anybody in the public comment wish to speak now? But Nancy would like to speak. I received some distressing news in the middle of our meeting that two of our high school students are have been in a serious automobile accident. Um, if we could just have a moment of silence for those two students, it um, would be appreciated. I, their parents are very upset about the process here. So if we could just have a moment of silence. Thank you. 